Welcome back to BYUTV.org. It's Men's Basketball Media Day. It's a packed house. Okay, not really. Women's basketball is practicing behind us. We're live online at BYUTV.org. Thanks for joining us. Uh, my name is Jerem Jordan alongside Michael Boswell, one of those four non-scholarship players back from a mission. How's it going, Michael? It's going great. It's good to be back. Excellent. If you have a question for Michael, tweet at BYUTV Sports or post it on Facebook.com slash BYUTV Sports. So let's see. Remind me where you went on your mission. I went to Riverside, California. Okay. And so how was that experience? And when did you get back? The experience was the greatest I've ever had. It was incredible. Um, I got back in June, uh, just early June. So I was here for the summer to work out with the team. Excellent. And did you go on the Greece trip? Uh, you know, I had, I wasn't on the Greece trip. Okay. Uh, a couple of us stayed behind, but uh, supported those who went. It seemed like it was a productive, good trip. Okay. As a, uh, we, we've chatted with a couple of the, the non-scholarship players, you guys uh, have opportunities elsewhere to play. You guys are Division I college basketball talent. Yeah. What influenced you to come to BYU specifically? Um, just the atmosphere here. I mean, we're sitting in the Marriott Center. There's nothing greater than to play in front of 22,000 fans. Um, the, just BYU is such a great university. It's something somewhere that I've always wanted to play basketball at. Um, I mean, the academics are great, and uh, my own family has come here before, and I've just heard story after story about BYU, the tradition, and everything here, and uh, that really made up my decision, made up my mind. And your sister goes here as well. She's on the women's volleyball team, Kimberly. What's, what's yeah. the experience like as siblings playing BYU sports? <laughs> it's great. I, I love um, seeing her on campus. You know, I'm proud to say that I'm her older brother, mm -hmm. even though she's farther ahead than me now that I've taken off my mission. Um, she is just great. She's one of my very best friends, and um, I am happy to be called her older brother. Okay, you're number 35. How'd you land with 35, and why? So, uh, this may have come back in the past questions. I was 34 throughout high school, throughout club basketball, throughout pretty much everything, and Noah Hartsock beat me to the punch. He took the 34. And so um, he just got off of his mission right as you got here, right? Yeah. So he just barely missed it. In fact, that's the running joke is that I actually got here to campus before Noah did. Hmm. So you know, you'll have to ask him in his interview why why he ended up with 34. We we already did, so we missed that chance. Oh boy. So how did he end up with 34? He he called it before me. He sent in the word before me, and so I figured 35 is you know, it's one more than 34. Maybe not what I was thinking would be, but. We'll take it. Okay. Got a uh, Facebook post for you from Emily Stewart. She says, has it been difficult getting back into shape since you just got off your mission? Do you miss Southern California? Well, Emily was um, from a family that I served my mission in, cool. in a city called Menifee, uh, down there in between Riverside and kind of San Diego. Mm -hmm. And it was a great place to serve. So we got a lot of chances to play basketball in Menifee. And with the people we taught, with the people we were fellowshipping, and so, Emily, you can be rest assured that it hasn't been too rough of a transition. <laughs> Thanks okay. to Menifee. There you go. Thomas Nilsson says, how do you as an athlete balance school with athletics? I haven't learned. <laughs> I really haven't learned. Um, you probably see the bags under my eyes right now because the, this week I had four midterms. Four in one week. Yeah, and, wow. uh, and the season starting, practice starts on Friday. So... You know, you just dedicate as much of your soul and heart into the thing that you're focusing on there, and then you just it's kind of a juggling act. So it's a lot of fun. It keeps me busy, and I really enjoy being an athlete and a student. A couple of years ago, you redshirted uh, before your mission, went on your mission, now you're back. How have things, I guess, sort of changed since then? Well, the team's almost completely different. Um, Charles and Noah and me came in as freshmen together. Now only Charles and Noah are here on the team. Um, but I've never felt closer with a team before. Like It's such a tight-knit group of guys. And um, I felt totally comfortable coming back. I felt right at home. I mean, not a whole lot has changed. It's really been its home. You know, It feels just the way it felt when I was a freshman. So. And BYU's been rather busy since, since then they with, got... uh, with Independence in football and West Coast Conference <laughs> and, and Jim. Exactly. They got pretty good without me, so now they're going to get even better with me back. Hopefully. There you go. The West Coast Conference, a lot of 
a lot of California schools in there. That's got to be exciting for those that were in your mission to possibly see you play. Yeah, San Diego I know is close, and then a couple of the L.A. schools, hoping to meet up with a few friends from the mission. That would be great. And you're from Oregon. Is it pronounced Aloha? Yeah. Okay. You're it's one spelled of the like first. Aloha, yes. but it's Aloha, right? Okay. You're one of the first to get that right. Okay, thank you. <laughs> uh, how far, where is Aloha in Oregon? It's just southwest of Portland. Okay. So it's like the metropolitan area. And our high school played in the Metro League, which is Beaverton, Aloha, Hillsboro, mm -hmm. um, kind of southwest Portland right in there. It's so when great. BYU plays at Portland, right outside your town? I'm already hoping my teammates give me some tickets for some family and friends. It'll, it'll be a really fun game. Fantastic. Uh, how tall are you? How tall are you? Six foot nine. Six nine, okay. So you play you play in power forward? Yeah. Slash center? Mm -hmm. What kind of skill set do you bring to the table? Um, well, the team is so talented and so deep. And I have uh, the inside game and the high post game, kind of a mid-range Jumpers are some of my favorite because people aren't expecting you to take those. Um, you know, I'm working on all of my other parts of the game, but inside presence and then high-low, you know, with another post like Brandon, Ian, Nate, Noah, you know, I hope I'm not forgetting anyone, Chris. Um, it's, just, it's just been a part of my game that I think I can add to the team. It's been a while since BYU was loaded in the front court. Traditionally, BYU has those, those good one through three. Yeah. Uh, but the four and five are solid. How exciting is it to be a part of that group this season? Yeah, it's really fun, especially considering they're all freshmen, <laughs> a lot of them. I mean, I think I wasn't here when Chris uh, really played back the year after his mission, but I know he's young in his eligibility. I know we have Ian Harward, Nate Austin, me, uh, Josh Sharp, also returned missionary. He's played a little four. And so uh, it's really exciting because it's a group I'll grow with. And it's a group that we can kind of take the team higher and higher. Chatting with Michael Boswell, the BYU men's basketball team. If you have a question for him, tweet it at BYU TV Sports or post it on Facebook.com slash BYU TV Sports. Uh, we mentioned your sister playing here. You also have a cousin who's rather famous, the goalkeeper, Mackenzie Olson. She does a pretty nice job. How fun is it to yeah. support your uh, sibling and cousin on campus here? Like my sister, I'm happy to be one of you know, they're kin. <laughs> it's fun to know them, fun to see them around campus. It's crazy during season, it's so busy. We probably see each other less than we'd like to during season because she's on the road, then we go on the road. And so um, it's just a blast. Like this past weekend, got to meet up with my family because they came down to see the Pepperdine game. And uh, it's, it's really fun to have family so close. It you know, makes it home. You mentioned sitting in the Marriott Center and how exciting that was. I guess from a player's perspective down there, what's it like when BYU packs this place and, and plays a game? It, it adds such a thrill, uh, such an excitement to the atmosphere. It, it shows that you have thousands who are behind you. Um, it must be intimidating for anyone else to play in an arena like this. Um, I love knowing that there's so many people who support our team and they sacrifice, the fans sacrifice so much for us that we see that all the time. It's really exciting to have them come and support us and it adds a lot of strength to the team. Well, good luck with everything and we're excited for uh, the upcoming season with you in the front court. Absolutely. Okay. Thanks a lot, Michael. Nick Martineau is next up. Tweet at BYU TV Sports and post on Facebook.com slash BYU TV Sports. Your questions for Nick Martineau. We'll be back in a moment on BYUTV.org.